Hi guys, today I want to teach you about electrical power. Calculating power. Well, power is the energy converted by a device per second. Power is measured in watts, or also known as joules per second. We need to know the current through a device and the voltage across the device to find its power. And we use this formula here, power equals the current times the voltage. Or here's the triangle, so we've got power in watts at the very top, and current in amps times by voltage in volts at the bottom. But why does P equals IV? Well, let's have a further look at our equation. So power is the energy per time. Well, current, that's the charge per time. And voltage, well, that's the energy per charge. So we've got charge and per charge, and they cancel out, leaving us with energy per time, which is what power is. So just by timesing I times V, I get power. The connection between power and energy. Well, Power is equal to the energy uh, per unit time. So P equals E over T. But we also now know that P equals IV. So I can, they're equivalent basically, IV equals E over T. And if I move the T over to the other side, I find this equation E equals ITV. Resistor example. A resistor has a current of 0.25 amps through it and a voltage drop of 5 volts across it. What's the power rating of the resistor? And if used for 2 minutes, how much energy is transferred? So here's our resistor. It's got 5 volts across it and a current of 0.25 amps going through it. So we're going to use our formula, P equals IV. So 0.25 times by 5 gives us 1.25 watts. And as for the energy, well energy equals ITV, but this time remember it's for two minutes, so we need to convert that two minutes into seconds by timesing by 60. So we've got 0 0.25 times 120 times by 5 gives us 150 joules of energy. Bulb example. A bulb has a power rating of 100 watts. How much current will flow if the bulb is supplied with 230 volts? Okay, so our power rating is 100 watts. The voltage is 230 volts. So remember, P equals I times V. But we need to know the current, so let's make I the subject. So I equals P over V. Put the numbers in. 100 divided by 230, we get 0 0.43 amps. Well, guys, I hope that's been useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.